Alrighty guys, um, today I was going to make a video on, um, just basic modeling and hobbying and stuff like that. I'm um, sorry I haven't made a video recently. I have been really, really busy with, um, hockey, as, um, I'm a big player in that. So, um, today I had a little, you know, just showing off my tank here that I'd made. It's a, um, British Achilles tank, which is not finished yet. I've still got to, you know, finish putting in all this. But, um, nonetheless, you know, it's coming together. But, um, anyway, enough with the tank. I, um, just wanted to go ahead and make a video about basic, hot, um, equipment needed for, you know, modeling. Because, honestly, when I first started modeling, this is what I wish there was. Which there wasn't. So, or at least I can never find any. But, alright, um, this is just my tips and what to buy. The first thing I have here is a pair of, um, cutters. The Army Painter cutters, you know, which is used for cutting stuff off of sprues. Very, very handy. I lost the spring, but oh well. Um, anyway, next, um, tweezers. These are extremely good just for holding stuff while it glues. Oh, you know, you don't glue your fingers or anything. But all right, tweezers. Um, the next thing, which I actually did not know about, which is a um, drill. This will make your guys stand out by drilling the barrels of their guns and stuff. And, um, honestly, mine broke. You know, yeah, a little tip thingy broke. Because, um, this one's actually kind of old. So, I need to get a new one. But that always helps to make your army look, you know, look different. on um, a hobby knife, obviously. You need that for, you know, cutting stuff down to size and just, you know, getting off those little tiny extra extra plastic on the models um honestly I use a pair of um little fingernail clippers just for you know little stuff that I need to clip off so that that works extremely well the one thing that I do not have here is a file which I would definitely recommend using but um I do have this I use this as like a scraper if I um say I strip the paint off of something I use this to you know get out you know get out the paint and the grooves and stuff and it's also kind of like a little file, you know, if you can't see the texture right there. But it's sort of kind of a file, not really. But, um, anyway, I use that a lot. Um, and then, of course, you got your brush. You definitely need a brush, a good brush. This is one of my better ones, um, if the camera will focus, which I don't think it will. But, um, it's not really fine-tipped. I kind of use a standard, more tipped like that. But that's just me. Makes painting easier on me. And then, of course, you need a decent glue. This is just a cheap glue I found because I ran out of my regular stuff, which is like craft, I think. I don't know. It's craft or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, you know, just basic glue here. Um, and then, of course, if you're a mechanized army and stuff, you definitely might want to think about picking up one of these. It's a um, spray gun, which, honestly, I rarely use. I really don't like it that much, but that's just me. Um... It's very, very important to um, thin down the paints in here first before you do anything because, you know, you don't want to clog it up or anything. But, um, because honestly, it's almost impossible to fix if you do clog it up. One thing that I hate about this airbrush is that it takes army propellant. One second, I'll get a can of that. It's really, honestly, pointless in my opinion, but, um, to this, Citadel propellant. Which, honestly, I did not know that you needed to use this. I thought that, you know, it had like a plug or something. So I wasted my money on buying this without the propellant and it was useless. So, and honestly, I've used it maybe like once. That's about it. And that was just for basing an army, which didn't really turn out that good. So, you know, I guess that you can use this, you know, if you're a big tank person like I am. But... Honestly, if you're going to go for a professional look, I would definitely buy and learn how to use a professional airbrush. That's just me, though. So, um, the next are the paints. Honestly, for your models, I'm not really sure exactly which one's better. Honestly, you, you can use whatever you can get your hands on. Um, I do not recommend acrylic because it just doesn't look very good. But, um, Citadel is... Pr these two paints right here are probably my favorite. Master Series Paint and Citadel. These two are my favorite. These two are, you know, just the best paints in my opinion. So that's just me. 
But, um, little update too. Um, where is he? Oh, there he is. Um, I finished my, um, I finished up a Terminator. One second, let me turn on a light so you can actually see him. There you go. Um, I finished up my, um, Ultramarine's Terminator. I know that this is a Blood Angels banner. Yeah, I know, so, you know, just shut up about that. But, yes, I know that it is a Blood Angels banner and all of that good stuff. And, um, the shoulder pads are also from a Blood Angel. Actually, it's from their Sanguarian Guard. Both of these things are. He's even got a Sanguarian Guard pistol. Or, bolter thingy. Damn it, camera. Focus. Alright, so anyway, the camera isn't going to focus, but update, um, finish my Terminator, so I'm happy about that. And, um, anyway, so that's about it for this video. I just wanted to take the time and, you know, kind of tell you what to buy for modeling and stuff because you know it helped you know it, it would help out a lot of new guys also this thing is extremely sharp so do not cut yourself with it I've done that multiple times always cut away from you never towards you like I have done in the past like an idiot so always do that because if you do that it'll jump up and it'll cut you so just yeah be careful with this thing don't kill anyone alright so thanks for watching guys um just remember to subscribe and recommend this video to, you know, whomever. If you know somebody new and they need some help. Ooh, is the camera focused now? Uh, yeah, not really. But anyway, that's about it. That's him. You know, Merry, Merry Christmas. So, yeah, just subscribe, guys. Thanks. Bye.